What's up you guys, Wayne here, and let's talk about the bold and the beautiful. And I have a lot to catch up on because I haven't made a video in like two months. But it's not my fault. Let's get into it. Through the power of soap opera nonsense, Sheila is alive! I'm not about to get into the explanation as to why she's alive because it makes zero sense, but she's alive. Sheila and Deacon also got married. And for idiotic reasons that also make no sense, Finn thinks that Sheila has changed. That she's no longer the psychopath that tried to kill him, his wife, half his wife's family, and his adoptive mother. And Finn wants to be in Sheila's life, especially after he thought he'd never have that chance again. Steffi, because she's not dumb, forbids this and says that she will leave Finn if he brings Sheila into their lives. For now, Finn agrees to keep Sheila away, but it's not what he wants. Throughout all of this, Hope Logan has been a shoulder for Finn to lean on and vent to about his mother, and they're now step-siblings, so, hmm. Hope is also developing a crush on Steffi's husband. Whore. So in one scene, Hope was having a bad headache, you guys, and Finn, a doctor, decided to give her a massage on her head and her shoulders to relax her. You know, the headaches were mostly caused because of stress. There was absolutely nothing sexy about this scene. Like, nothing. However, Miss Hope was thinking about it later on. I guess she got hot and bothered by having Finn's hands on her. I don't know, man. She really is a Logan. I never expected this kind of behavior from Hope, but after she tanked her whole marriage for Thomas, I guess anything is possible from her at this point. And I did predict that Hope would try to steal Steffi's husband as revenge for Steffi interfering with her relationship with Thomas. But oh boy, Steffi and Hope are gearing up for another battle. But before I get into all of that, please like this video and subscribe subscribe if you haven't already. Don't be hard-headed. Help a brother out. So Steffi wants to cancel Hope's fashion line, Hope for the Future. Steffi is the co-CEO of Forrester Creations and this is well within her power to do so. The line isn't making money anymore since Thomas, the former lead designer, left. Well, Hope is furious that Steffi would dare to cut her line and is whining and ranting in every scene now. Hope, Baby, it's just business. Calm down. Personally, I think Steffi should set a final deadline for her to turn things around, and if Hope had any business sense, she'd be pushing for that. But instead, she thinks the best course of action is to continually insult one of her bosses. Hope also went running to her mommy to fight her battles for her and encouraged Brooke to come back to the company in a more active role. Hope is so weak and this is one of the many reasons I dislike her character. At her big age, she's still running to Brooke to fight her battles for her. It's ridiculous. You never catch Steffi running to Taylor to fight her battles for her. Are you kidding me? Steffi doesn't need anyone to do anything for her. She handles business on her own, just like her grandmother and that's why I'm team Steffi always, baby. The show seems to be hinting at Brooke becoming co-CEO. Over a year or two ago, there were hints at a storyline where Brooke wanted Ridge to make her CEO so they could run the company together and Brooke wanted to push Steffi out. That storyline quickly got dropped, but now it seems like it's coming back. Oh, Brooke, you should come back to the company. You done so much for Forrester Creations, the belief formula, Brooke's bedroom line. Yes, she did all of that years ago in the 90s. And I'm not downplaying the importance of her contributions, but they're old as hell. Yes, you gave us the belief fabric, and that was wonderful, but that was last year and this is this year. What have you done for us lately? Remember all the great things you did back in 1992? That means you should be the CEO right now in 2024. Remember the belief formula that no one ever talks about anymore until it's time to give Brooke a compliment? Remember Brooke's bedroom line that hasn't existed in over a decade? We need Brooke back here for her brilliant input. And Ridge all of a sudden randomly wants to step down as well. So what, you just gonna have Brooke and Steffi be in charge of the company? Those two do not get along and it will only lead to chaos. Oh boy, destroying the company all to make Hope a non to happy. Joy! Moving on to another storyline. Now Bill Spencer may actually be Luna's father. After Poppy said there was no way Bill could be the father of her grown child, now she's saying, psych, you may actually be the father. All right, let's go ahead and get this DNA test done and figure it out, okay? Bill and Luna do have good chemistry as father and daughter, so I actually do want them to be related. But I feel like soap opera law dictates that Luna's father is gonna be <laughs> Poppy's former brother-in-law, Jack. 
Or maybe Bill is the father, but Poppy's sister, the good doctor, may alter the DNA results because she hates her sister and doesn't want her with Bill. So to those who are watching, what do you guys think about the current storylines on The Bold and the Beautiful? Do you think that Hope is overreacting? Or do you think that Steffi needs to be taken down a pig? Do you want Brooke to take on a more leadership role at Forrester Creations? Do you think Bill is Luna's father? Like, you know, let me know. Leave me some comments. All right, y'all. Be blessed.